All right, so a little follow-up from the last couple of weeks. I've uh, been asking a lot of questions, mostly of post-career um, combat arms on injuries and where their issues are at. So kind of the project is how to find intervention points where we can mitigate some of these. Uh, so here's some, some top three tools that will work for both mid-career and post-career. Um, with the, the leading being kind of a intermediate kind of thing, it's a little bit easier to implement and then towards the end it's a little bit longer term kind of thing so uh first tool uh our pr reflects a performance reset amazing tool a lot of our athletes have great success with it uh cal deets out of minnesota um you can look up some of the, the research on it but his hockey team the last i saw had a good five-year streak without any soft tissue injuries not contact history issues um on the hockey team, D1, University of Minnesota, uh, for about a five-year period. So that's pretty solid. I don't think you'll hear about that anywhere else in the industry. Uh, so you can look it up on YouTube. Just look up Reflexive Performance Reset. There's a 15-minute video I think it did with Mark Bell on his channel. Uh, that's probably the easiest one. Just follow along. Just do it. I recommend it as a warm-up to work out you've done before so you can kind of see changes. Um, I have heard of a guy from Regiment that did it and had the best night of sleep. Uh, that he'd had since he joined the military. So there is that. I haven't heard that with other guys from my team. I haven't heard personally, but I have seen that before. Uh, how long does it last? It, it generally will improve movement, it reduce pain, etc. But I have, again, like things like sleep to improve. Um, I've heard of some having done it once and it lasts for six months. Other people, I've seen it last a couple minutes. And each individual movement can have different effects. Uh, so I did have one guy that had dramatically improved his body weight squat um, over a 10 minute period and then we did the calf reset and that just set him back about 20%. So it's not always going to work on every movement. So just find what works for you. You can kind of use that, but do that follow along on that YouTube video and that'll work. Second tool, uh, daily mobility. And there's a difference between mobility and joint mobility. So if I have my hand, I can open and close it. That would be mobility, being able to get full extension, full contraction. With joint mobility, we're looking at moving the individual joint itself in different ranges of motion. You can do figure eights, you can do circles, things like that. Um, easy free resource online is called Intuflow, I-N-T-U dash flow. Uh, should be free, you can do follow along, same concept. That one's a little bit longer, but you can dig a little bit deeper into it. And I typically do a 12 to 18 minute uh, session every morning. Um, I highly recommend that. So what that does is it helps your body build awareness of where it's at in space and time, uh, which will reduce the threat load. So it's gonna get a little bit nerdy, um, but that, that neurological side is really what drives a lot of this stuff. Uh, third tool, I think we all know about it's nutrition, lifestyle, training, all that good stuff. And we get super nuanced with that. And so that's a little bit more of the longer term kind of thing, doing training plans and programs and stuff like that. So uh, give these a shot, uh, at least the first two. Let me know what you think. Hopefully, uh, if you're mid-career, I definitely highly recommend obviously getting on all three. Um, Post-career, definitely try the RPR, see if it helps. It might reduce pain, it may not. It's just kind of individual, but give it a shot. See if it helps. Uh, if it does, just let me know. Um, and if you have any questions, please drop them below.